Hi, Aries. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm going to be doing your current energy reading. I hope that you guys are doing okay. And yeah, we're going to jump right into it. All right, so give me the current energy for my Aries. What are their current feelings right now? What's the energy surrounding them, people surrounding them? Anything or anyone significant to my Aries at this time? Allow all of these energies to come out in their reading. Thank you. All right, so let's pull some cards for you, Aries. Let's see what's going on. Give me some cards for my Aries. What's their current energy? Anything significant, allow it to come out. Knight of Pentacles, okay. So there's definitely been a lot. Of, hmm, what should we talk about first? I feel like there's been a lot of waiting and buildup leading to something significant that's going to happen possibly this weekend. Um, I also feel like you have shown up for yourself really well, like for the last couple of months. Everything that you said that you wanted to do, you achieved. Um, you proved yourself to be very reliable and dependable type of person and especially to yourself. So when you set goals or when you are determined to, you know, be or show up as a certain person, you really kept up to that promise. Yep. Strength card right under it. Look at that. You've been very determined. You've been very like adamant. You've been very courageous about the decisions that you choose to make. Um, even if there's new opportunities or new things that have came came your way, you haven't shied away from these things and you've kept up the momentum and you've done it very patiently. So I feel like something is coming towards you in, in relation to that, in direct relation to that. Okay. So we'll see what that is. All right. So your first card coming out is the two of wands. I definitely feel like you are in an energy of wanting to, oh my God, ow. <laughs> you're definitely in the energy of wanting to explore. There's certain things in life that you're seeing that you really are, you feel attracted to, you feel like you resonate with this, you feel like you belong, but they may be experiences or things that could feel out of reach or that you're just not able to do at this time or things that you're just manifesting. But there is an energy of wanting more out of life and wanting to explore more out of life. And you know, go after it as well. There's like a, a desire. That's what I'm feeling. Also feel like you could have your eyes set on two options, two people, or if you're in a relationship there, you definitely could have a crush outside of your relationship. Okay. Um, and you are just thinking about the other side of things. Like I've been possibly doing things a certain way, how would it be to, to spice it up a little bit or to do something different? So you definitely have a desirable energy going on about you. And if this is not how you're feeling, then there could be someone who um, is seeing you as the desirable. Like maybe they're already dating someone, but not in a commitment, or they could be in a relationship, but they're desiring how it would be, how it would it feel to be in a romantic connection or friends with Aries. So this could be someone thinking of you in that way, or it could be mutual. Okay. Yeah. Two of wands. Let's clarify that. All right. Tell me about the two of wands for my Aries. Two of wands is your card, you know, but it doesn't have to be your energy. So we'll see. Let's see. Two of wands for my Aries, two of wands. I feel like you could have been looking at a lot of like destinations. So destination thing, like destination trips, destination weddings, destination honeymoons. I feel like you're into travel quite a bit and other things. 
All right. There's like a explorative energy about you. Or if this is not you, this is definitely someone else in your energy. So what's the two of wands? What's the two of wands here? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. There's definitely someone thinking a lot. This could be a masculine. Okay. So if you're feminine, then I don't feel like this is how someone feels about you. We do have a masculine here. King of Pentacles. This person could be in a relationship. They could be attached, but they could definitely be thinking of you. Okay. I'm seeing the eight of cups, which is like someone may feel very um, emotionally detached from their current connection. And they could be thinking about you, especially at nighttime. They're thinking of the fool. They're wanting like a new experience here, a new path, or they're wondering how they're desiring and wondering how would it be to be with Aries, possibly my feminines. Okay. Also feel like some of you guys, when it comes to your career, things could be looking really good right now where you're feeling stable and you're feeling, you know, um, like your finances are okay and you're doing probably better off than your peers, but you often think about a new career path or you think about a new homestead. Like I live here and I feel very stable here. I afford everything very nicely, but I want more. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with that. The second card that came out is this also the second card that I pulled. So tower. So there is a very shocking moment that's coming up for you and it has a direct correlation to your desire or someone else's desire towards you. So this could be an unexpected phone call. This could be an unexpected text coming in, but it's definitely correlated to this exploration thing or this desire thing. I don't know what this is. Okay. Four swords. So this could have been like a break, like you and someone could have taken a break from one another. And there's an unexpected shocking call coming in. It's like, wow. Cause it was kind of leading to maybe like, okay, loss in communication. Like it could have been like some months or maybe some weeks. It felt like a break, but it was merging into just kind of being like, okay, we're, we're really done. But it feels like someone had some time to think about this and they're wanting to reach out to you all of a sudden. Hmm. Chariot, okay? This could be about moving forward together with the chariot. Someone could feel like, you know, moving forward with you would be a success. But it feels like someone is committed to something. So... I don't know if this person's just like committed to their job, their home, they're in a they're in a mortgage, they're in a lease, and they may be wanting to travel, but it's like you have commitments here. So how is that gonna work? Right? Or it could be someone who is in a relationship and they're wanting to move forward with someone outside of that. And it's like, well, you're already committed somewhere. So how is that going to work? I feel like that's like a question that comes up in someone's mind here. They're thinking like, okay, how the hell is this going to work? Like you can desire me all you want to, but how the hell is it going to work when you're married or when you're already committed to something? Or how is it going to work if you have your job that you have worked so hard to get to a good ranking? How is it going to work when you have your home or you're in a lease? How is that going to work? All right, let's see what this is about. The star, I really feel like someone is really serious about renewing something with you or restarting something or reviving a connection. That's what it feels like. This can be an Aquarius. We also have cancer energy here too, I forgot to say. But yeah, it feels like someone is like very optimistic about this. They feel like it's going to be super successful with the chariot and they're really wanting to revive or renew a connection or maybe they're just trying to find the optimism out of life. They've been 
they've been doing like the slow and steady kind of thing for a while and it's boring. Two of Wands, it's quite boring here. I'm wondering what it would feel like to try something new. I'm kind of bored, okay? That's what it's giving, Four of Swords. I'm kind of bored. Hmm, okay, what's the moon? So there are there's a lot of like secrets here. Someone's not being clear or someone's not being forthright. They're not bringing up the elephant in the room. They're not bring, putting everything on a the table. There's still a lot of things left uns unsaid after this phone call or after this text message or whatever. There's still, or this meeting, there's still a lot of things that someone in the equation doesn't know about. And it's being hidden for a reason, the moon. So what is this about? Hmm. Eight of Wands. It could be also hidden that someone may travel somewhere. Okay. It could be hidden that someone is wanting to keep up a lot of communication, like someone's texting quite a bit, calling someone quite a bit. That could be hidden. What's in the lovers? I feel like that whatever this is, someone is hiding it, but they love it. Like they're so they made this decision because they feel like this is going to enhance their life in some way with the lovers. They made this decision because they feel super connected to this situation, but they're hiding the fact that it's a very booming type of decision. Like it's moving fast or it's impulsive, or there's a lot of communication going on between two people or that something is becoming repetitive. It's like, it's not just a one-time thing. It's happening more than once re repetitively. Okay, what else with the moon? The Knight of Cups, yeah. I feel like someone really likes this energy. They're like, I could vibe with this. I could do this long-term. I really, really am falling for this vibe. I really like it. Like, it could be like someone who lives in New York. They, they have a flat in New York. They have a really good job in New York, but they've been flying to California and they're vibing with the beach life and they're vibing with the nightlife and the people out there. They may have met someone out there, but they could have a whole life back in New York. They could have even been dating someone that things were kind of getting very serious with. And it's like, yeah, I'm not really going to tell this person, but I am thinking I'm going to move to California to start this new exciting life that I'm vibing really hard with. This could even be like someone keeping communication between them and someone else a secret because they really like it a lot. They're willing to risk it all, okay? So it's like secret communication, secret dating, secret, rom um, like a, rom a secret romantic energy. It's like a secret reconciliation. That's what it's giving. And it's very risky because if this doesn't, land right, this person could be left out on in the cold by both, both decisions. So even the decision that they're used to could leave them out in the cold. The decision that they're going for could also leave them out in the cold. Who knows if that's a guarantee, right? Three of wands. So something is arriving, something is here, something is here to stay. But you know what? Three of wands is kind of like, it could be a missed opportunity as well. So there's an opportunity that's coming in there's an offer that is coming in, but it also could be a missed opportunity. So I'm wondering how will that play out? Three of wands. So this could be a job offer coming in and it's like, oh my God, am I really gonna leave my old job for this new job? Maybe, you know, or there's a love offer coming in and it's like, am I gonna leave my girlfriend, my boyfriend for this, this person? Maybe, that's what it gives. What's the three of wands? Four of Cups. What else? Page of Wands. So whatever this offer is, it's a very exciting offer. Okay. I feel like this person feels really good about it. It feels like good news coming in. But the Four of Cups as well. Four of Cups also gives like, you know, 
Hmm. I wonder what this Four of Cups is towards. Because look, Six of Cups is here too. Is the Four of Cups towards the the past or the new? Is the Four of Cups towards the past or the new? Hmm. <laughs> okay. I feel like we have the Moon card, so it's like secret, 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 secret. I feel like someone is kind of is feeling bored or kind of like not attracted to or kind of thrown off based off of what they already have. They're kind of like done with it. They're like, I already lived this life. I'm, I want to try something different. But it doesn't feel like this person is ready to make a decision because they're kind of still trying to keep it a secret. So they're, they're trying to do both things at once, three of pentacles. How can I make this thing work and this thing work together? How can I keep it connected? How can I keep this thing going? How can I get creative and work my, my past job and my new job? How can I get creative and live in New York and also live in California? How can I get creative and still pursue the person I'm dating now, but also go back to this other person that I'm getting in touch with and reviving something with? Seems like someone's trying to keep it all together. Like, it feels like someone is being overly selfish because it's like trying to have it all will land you in the five of pentacles where, you know, you can ultimately have nothing. So it's like better to make a decision than try to keep it a polygamous type of situation. I don't know. What's your energy in all of this, Aries? What's your energy in all of this? What's your energy towards the moon? What's your energy towards the moon? Eight of swords. So some of you guys are kind of feeling stuck to the moon. It's like, I'm not really happy about being um, unclear. I'm not happy about not knowing what I want to do. I'm not happy about this person not knowing what they want to do. I'm not happy about something being secretive but I'm kind of like a slave to it. Sorry, I don't want to use that word because I feel like that might trigger some of you guys, but I'm kind of like stuck to this. I'm kind of stuck in this cycle. I'm drawn to it so much that it's keeping me prisoner. It's keeping me confined to it. So even though you may not agree, and it could be a very competition-like energy, someone is already kind of stuck to the madness. There's a lot of temptation, okay? There's a lot of temptation coming off of these cards. All right. Hmm. What or who is coming towards you? What's the tower? What or who is coming towards you or you towards them? What is that energy to tower? Okay, could be another fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, or Sag, or this is someone with that energy of the King of Wands who has their eyes on the prize. They see that they want you, or this could be reversed, right? And they um, kind of just know what they want. They're going to go after it, and they're not going to take no for an answer. They could be very adamant. They could be very chaser energy of just being very um, like discipline, kind of like you with the strength card where this person is like, you know, they set up this routine, they're sticking to it. They have a goal at hand and they're kind of very, um, motivated to get that goal. Um, also I feel like with the five of pentacles coming out, this situation could have, you could have felt very disincluded by this situation in the past. So if this is like a job situation, um, or a friendship, it feels like something that made you feel like you didn't belong before, or you could have been feeling like it left you behind. It kind of forgotten about you. And if the opportunity is coming back up again, it's kind of very exciting because it feels like someone wasn't able to experience that in the past. Um, if this is like a lover, it feels like someone who could have like not really valued you at one point or didn't really see the hype around you at one point, but now they're super hype about you. I hope that makes sense, guys. So that's the opportunity coming in, something that like is desirable, but it also, there's a past energy of it where it felt like you weren't, you weren't fitting in 
or it it was never a possibility for someone like you, which is weird because Aries, you know, anything you put your mind to, you can have. It feels like a delayed opportunity. Like if this would have came in a year ago, I would have been full on board. I would have been so grateful, so happy. But now it's coming in now and I have a lot of other obligations and commitments. So there's something like that going on. All right, let's get the last words, guys. Last words for my Aries dealing with this situation. It's like there's someone coming towards you that has FOMO, like fear of missing out with you. But I feel like there was an opportunity prior where they could have really got in tune, but they but they chose not to. All right, let's see what's going on here. Give me last words for my Aries dealing with this situation. So expect something very uh, unexpected opportunity happening possibly this weekend or before January ends. There's a very, very shocking opportunity coming your way. Give me some cards, please, for my... Aries dealing with this situation or coming away of someone that's connected to you, maybe. Let's see. Last words from my Aries dealing with this situation. A couple more. I kind of want a couple more here. All right, perfect. All right, bottom of the deck says drunk texting you. Who just had this? I think Cancer just had this. So definitely could be a Cancer in your energy coming towards you. Okay, so yeah, drunk texting you is coming out. Who, wait, did, did Cancer have this or was it like, I forget who had this, guys. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> we have I'm in love with you. Okay. All right. We have cold hearted. All right. We have hot shit. <laughs> All right, Taurus could be in your energy or you could have Taurus in your chart. I am doing Taurus's reading right after yours if you want to check that out. We have I'm married. Yeah. I was I kind of felt skeptical to to speak on that cuz I just did cuz I never really get down to the nitty-gritty like that in my readings, but I felt inclined to say that. And yeah, someone's definitely attached already, but they're I don't want to say bored. That's kind of mean, but they are like seeking excitement. Um, we have age difference. We have, I want to change for you. Okay. We have, I checked your phone. I'm not over you. Damn, you're fine. Okay, period. I love that for you. What else do we have here for Aries? We have I'm lying slash I lied. That's that moon card energy where something is not clear. Someone's not being completely honest about something. August, Leo or Virgo. August could be very significant as well. Um, breakup. Ooh. Love when you love when you love when you in it in it. Love when you love when you. Why would you want to break up? All right. <laughs> you make me angry. Um, January Capricorn and Aquarius. January this month could have been very eye opening for you. We have balanced relationship. Interesting. Okay. And last but not least, we have blame game. Uh oh. Okay. Wow, that was a interesting one, Aries. And we're all done here. So I wish you guys the best. Um, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week and weekend. Um, like the video, <laughs> comment down below and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on your next Aries reading coming very soon. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.